So how exactly does a streetcar work? Alex Markopoulos is going to tell us all about it. This is Railroad Showcase. So what you've got going on here, this is your essentially accelerator, your reverser, and your brake. This is using what's called a K controller, which was de uh, developed by General Electric. The way this car runs, to be overly simplified, is it has the 600 volts come in from our overhead wire through a pole. Through that pole, it then comes down and all full 600 volts going directly through this controller where it's got a series of points on a star wheel right down the middle of this that connect different amounts of resistors to help the car go. As I take my first point of power, let's make sure we're off before we do anything. We are off. You have to put your reverser in forward before you start moving. And then as you take power, each one of these little points cuts a different resistor out until you get to what's called series. At series, you've cut all of your resistor eyes out and you're getting the full 600 volts straight to the motors wound in series. Well, if you want to go a little bit faster, what you do is you'll keep moving up. And now it'll rewire it into what's called parallel. So now you've got your motors wired in parallel and you've got all the resistors back in the circuit. Working your way up, again, you're cutting out different resistors until you get no resistors in the grid. And now you're running in full parallel. Both motors are getting full 600 volts while running in parallel. Now, when you're done moving forward and you're ready to stop, well, you've got your brakes. Well, to make a lot of noise, you've got emergency. This position here is apply. Everything in here is apply. Lap, which is no air coming in, no air going out. And release, which exhausts all the air from the brake cylinder out into the outside world, releasing your brakes. As you want more air to get a little bit of stopping power, you do a little bit at a time until you get the desired amount of air pressure in your gauge, otherwise known as what's inside your uh, train air. And that is how this car works. So the bell on this car is located up top, right here. You've also got a smaller whistle on it. And those are all your noisemakers available on this car. I'll try not to. How many motors does this thing have? Two out of four that it was originally built with. The two motors are located in the rear trunk on this car. Yes. Decided you didn't need all the power. Well, it's all we had. When we got this car, it was body only. Didn't he do a good job of explaining the system in that streetcar? He really did. Not only was it thorough and very informative, but it was very concise too. It wasn't overly complicated. You know, and none of that was rehearsed at all. It was no. it was all off the cuff and all of the aerial footage was Alex's too. So Alex, thanks for all the help. 
Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you haven't already, go check out our Facebook group, Railroad Showcase RPO. And on that group, we've noticed that a number of you have been inviting a bunch of your friends to join also. And we really appreciate that. So jump on to Railroad Showcase RPO on Facebook, join the group, and invite your friends to come along for the ride. In the meantime, keep your hand on the throttle and your eye on the rail.